Hello, this is Jacob from my reviews, and today I'm going to be giving my full thoughts and review on the Kulina tungsten knife. If you wish to see the unboxing as well as my initial thoughts or the full written article, go ahead and check in the link below. But I want to go ahead and get right into this because there is quite a bit I'd like to say about this artisan knife. Now, starting right here, you can see how it's meant to be holstered and held. It comes with its own little cover, and you can see that fine handle right there. It's good quality, and the knife has a good bit of heft to it. A little ring right here for it to carry, but this is something I highly recommend that you keep covered at most times when you're not using it, just for basic safety and care reasons, but go ahead and slide that off. Take off the cover. Again, just, as you can see here, get a good look at that knife. It's got a nice texture to it at the back while being nice and sharp at the front. I've used it quite a bit now and I've made sure to follow their initial instructions on general care tips, as you can see here. They recommend olive oil for the best cleaning method and then you keep it clean at all times for the best and olive oil for the best oiling method. It's not dishwasher safe. That's a clean by hand knife, as you'd expect from something of this artisan quality. It has, as I found, dulled just a little bit fast on the first use, but that might just be from the initial shipment. After a bit of sharpening, it works perfectly fine again and seems to be lasting longer after just the initial sharpening. So that's probably just initial shipment, as long as you get everything there, it should be fine. Now, as for the cost of the knife, it is on the pricier end, and that is probably the biggest hang-up I have seen people have with it. Now, whether or not you think it's worth it really comes down to your opinion on knives. You can get a full set out there for a much cheaper price, but that is just your basic kitchen tool knives. Nothing special about them, nothing unique. They'll work you fine, but... What we have here is, as I've said, an artisan knife. They even have their own logo implanted on it. Get a good close look at that. You're buying more than just a regular knife when you go for something like this. You are basically getting a piece of functional art, in my opinion. It's something that you get for the style of it, something that you get for the look of it and something that you still want to have function, don't get me wrong at that, it is still a very functional knife. It is just more than pure function went into the design behind it, as you can see from the basics of the handle here, and that dark smoothness, those screws, everything about it. I especially like this just dark, rough texture in the back that gives way to that smooth cutting edge. It is rough in the best possible way. It looks less manufactured than a lot of knives out there. If you look really closely on that, you can see just that bumpy texture that comes along with it. That is something unique with it. There are other knives that are designed similar to this that have something like that, but for this in particular, the Kulina knife goes far beyond with its design. Now, of course, as I've said, it functions well as a regular knife. Everything it works fine with. It doesn't have the most potent of blades, though. It, of course, will be cutting all of your regular kitchen variety stuff, all the softer materials, but anything that is exceptionally tough that needs specialty knives, you won't be using this with it. Basically, think of it as a more expensive, artistically put-together knife that will get the regular jobs done, but you still need to have specialty knives for any sorts of situations. It's a good thing to have if you're already well acquainted with the kitchen, have a good setup, and are looking for something a little bit more special for your everyday knife. Otherwise, though, I generally have a positive opinion on it, though it is a bit expensive for just getting a knife. You have to appreciate it as a piece of art, basically, if I, you're going to get any value out of it. Otherwise, I don't know if that's something that a lot of people out there are going to find too much value on their own. Go ahead and let us know in the comments below if you think that 
there's some artistic value that should go into tools like this, or if it should just be purely function. I think that there is some value into the basics, but there is such thing as going too far, which I don't think the Colina knife does, but otherwise, that has been my full review here. Go ahead and check in the link in the description below if you want to see any more of my thoughts, and have a good day.